Hey, Grade 7. Uh, welcome to a new edition of Mr. V Teaches Math. And today what we're going to be introduced to is uh, the problem-solving method uh, model that we're going to be using in our Grade 7 math this year. And uh, what we will notice, hopefully, is that in our math textbooks, in other books that we read and that we work with, and stuff that we research on the internet, uh, hopefully what we'll notice is that the world is actually full of um, not just mathematical problems, but other problems as well. Um, just think of the problems you solve from day to day, and in nearly every career path, uh, there will be problems to solve. Now, our math book this year will present the problems for you to solve. It'll require you to look at the problems and go through several steps before you can solve the problem. The problem-solving method is based on the model developed by someone named George Polya. Uh, the problem basically, or the problem-solving model basically includes these four steps. Uh, so first we understand the problem, we think of a plan, we carry out the plan, and we end up looking back. So let's look at each of these in a little more detail. So first, understand the problem. First we have to do is uh, read the problem and make sure you understand it. Ask yourself some questions. Do I understand all the words? What information am I given? What am I asked to find? Can I state the problem in my own words? Am I given enough information? Am I given too much information? How uh, Have I solved a similar problem before? Again, all those things you can ask yourself to figure out if you can understand the problem. The second step is to think of a plan. Organize the information that you need. Decide whether or not you need an exact or an approximate answer. Plan how you're going to use the information. Uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a list that includes some of the problem-solving strategies that may help. You could draw a diagram or look for a pattern. Uh, you can make a table. You can use a formula. You can use guess and check. You can solve a simpler problem. Or you can think to use logical reasoning. All those things are going to help you um, figure out how you are going to try to solve the problem. Third, you're going to carry out the plan. You're going to choose the calculation method that you'll use to carry out your plan. You're going to estimate the answer to the problem. You're going to carry out your plan, giving yourself enough time to solve the problem. And then often it's helpful if you write a final statement that gives the solution. Lastly, looking back, check all of your calculations. Um, this is something that we do in our writing. We often um, give our writing to uh, a friend, to a parent, to some other adult, to a teacher. We say, can you read this? Can you tell me if there's anything wrong with it before I hand it in? We can do a similar thing in math. We kind of do it ourselves, though, uh, where we go over the answer or go over the solution that we've written down, and we can check our answer against the original problem. We can think, is this answer reasonable? Um, you can try to get it to agree, or you can think, you can look at whether or not it agrees with your, your estimate. Um, you can possibly also look for an easier way to solve the problem. So, understand your problem, think of a plan, carry it out, and check over your work at the very end. Uh, and it's hopefully in that way um, that we can avoid um, needless mistakes and, uh, and do well in math this year. So have a great night, folks.